Welcome back, everybody. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And, uh, you know, we're out here just before the sun is up. And we're, we're in West Bay. Beautiful guy with some West Bay. Out here, we're going to do a little kayak fishing. I'm going to be targeting some flounder. You know, flounder are... Whoop, I just hit an oyster. Oop, let's get off this guy. You know, flounder are just getting ready to start moving around. We're going to start on that flounder run not too long far from now and so the flounder is going to be a little more active i've been seeing a little more active lately i know if you have any kind of social media you've been seeing them more active lately as well what they're going to do is that they're going to start eating a lot right now right before they get on their push i'm going to be targeting flounder i'm also going to be targeting redfish i'm not going to shy away from a speck either and i just want you to be feel invited to join our patreon page if you've been thinking about it, well, now is a great time to do it. We are coming together uh, as a small little group and throwing open invites and people coming out and fishing and having a good time. So if that's something that interests to you as well as fishing forecasts, fishing reports, if that's something that interests to you, then jump on board. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a minute and do that. As we go into B-roll, that'll give you a nice opportunity to subscribe to the channel, like the video in the description section. We talk about the Patreon. That link is down there as well. So at the end of the video, you can click on that. But, you know, welcome back. Thank you. I really appreciate all you guys. Enjoy the B-roll and let's get fishing. You know, just kind of slow today, you know, kind of what I expected, you know, to be kind of a slow day. And uh, haven't really seen a whole lot. Saw some back there. You know, saw some little fish, you know, popping and popping, but had one nice speck on and, and uh, he broke the surface and got off. I was trying to turn the camera on to record and he got off. So that's unfortunate, but you know, that happens. A couple of boats that were back in this area are leaving this area. Uh, which isn't too promising, but you know, maybe they couldn't find them either and said they're gonna go somewhere else. But it's all good. We're, we're here. See a little bit of bait on this grass line over here. I'm gonna cast at it a couple times and just kind of work this grass line kind of all the way down, you know, still scanning the, scanning the water surface, looking to see if I if I do find or see that red that just gonna tell on himself and and show me where he's at i'm gonna switch real fast and you know things will go you need to keep them kind of wet so sometimes i'll i'll switch back to my gope even if i'm not really looking to be fishing with them i just want to keep them wet i want to keep them in that in that wet mode you don't want them drying out i don't want to leave them back there too long and they have that live spray that live spray works great i need to pick some pick some up I've had some in the past but I need to pick some up uh oh is that a fish or is that just a contact let me contact in the bottom I think it might be a flounder there we go just put it on how funny is that I, I didn't get a good hit hook set on him oh I did get a good hook set <laughs> How funny is that? I I stopped to talk, and when I stopped and did something with my hand, he uh, he said pop up, he thumped it. So don't want to wait too long on these guys, especially when they're smaller. You don't want to uh, you don't want to um, then hurt themselves and and take your lure all the way down. But yeah, little buddy, nothing wrong with him. You know, penetrate. This is why you don't want to wait. See, you want to get that hook penetration when it's in the mouth, or when they're holding your lure in their mouth. You want to get it to the jaw. You don't want it going down in that belly, and that's when you run into problems with with killing them. 
you know that's where they run into problems with killing under size or even if you're not keeping or caught your limit you don't want to harm them there's a big disturbance over here look like something just uh something stuck in this grass somebody too this winds push me let me turn back around the other way but it was just splash 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 all the way through the, all that grass line I don't know what it was odds are it's a red chasing bait but we'll see come around he just ran through that little grass <laughs> splashing everywhere splashing everywhere kind of what I was looking for what I've been looking for some reds and this grass line just feeding it's supposed to have a high pressure system overhead but I, I, I guess not all these big clouds look low pressure moved in today we should trigger a bite. I mean, you should have. There we go. There we go. There we go. Put it right on his head. <clears throat> right on his head. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. It's a little red. We can land him. Maybe be better. Oh, come on. Oh, don't go into my drive. Don't go into my drive. There we go. It might be a little bigger than I thought. What are you? Yeah, you're a little red. Come on. Come on. You look so cute. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ay, 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 ay. Hard to control. They're so tough. They're so tough. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get him on this pass right here. Oh, my goodness. That's why he's... That's why he's acting like that. I seen just saw a whole bunch of blood. I hope he's legal size. He probably just ate the goat. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. Man, I hope he's 20. Oh, he is bleeding everywhere. Ah, fingers crossed he's 20. Goodness. Fingers crossed. Alright. Let's see. Come on, guy. Maybe he's not. He's he's blood. He's bleeding though. But he doesn't. He doesn't have it all the way down in his in his gills. It doesn't look like he might. I just put that new penny on, and he he got that one. Let's see if we can get him out. Oh yeah, it's all the way down his throat. Man, man, oh man. I hate that. Let me see. Let me measure him first. I might have to be like really careful with this guy. But yeah, he's bleeding so bad. Golly, I hate that. I hate that. But he he just swallowed it. I mean, there was no waiting. He just he just hammered it so hard. Let's see. Let's get the board. I'm gonna have to have surgery to try to keep him alive. The reds are so tough. Reds and flounder they're, they're they're so tough. They're so tough. Tough fish. Tough fish. Come on, guy. I know. Please be twenty. Twenty. Be tw oh yes. Awesome. He is 20, almost 21. So he's almost almost 21. So we're definitely gonna harvest this guy. You know, I mean, just because he took it down, I mean, it's right at his, you can just see it, just his blood is just kind of pouring out there. But yeah, I, I people always, you know, sometimes people will tell you, you know, you, you kept the fish out too long, you did this, you did that. I mean, you don't know, you don't know my heart. I mean, honestly. I, I give back to the community, clean up the shorelines, I try to teach kids how to fish the proper way, try to introduce the way we fish, the proper way to fish to as many people as possible um, when it comes to taking care of our fishery, I'm all about it. I, I hate killing fish and, th and that's probably, that's a lot of reasons why you don't, people say why don't you know, why don't you eat a lot of fish, I mean in the past I recently started trying to eat some, it's because I don't want to take from our fishery I really don't when we look at that nice color man this is the time of year love the color look he almost gave me a heart on that side love this color nice 
nice golden red nice golden red let me get this guy off you know i i just lucked out with that guy i was kind of you know i came through this area and i was hoping for some reds and i wasn't seeing anything so and that's what i was talking about sometimes you just got to just keep pushing through and pushing through don't spend waste too much time casting at every blade of grass just keep going and and try to see if a red will kind of show you where he is tell on himself a little bit and that guy did he was running over here blowing up on this grass just kind of working his way through that through the grass and only chasing bait and i happened just to cast right on his head and he bit on He bit on this gulp shrimp mantis style gulp new penny chartreuse tail and that's that's literally my favorite my favorite one to fish with uh, it gets torn up so easy so a lot of times i will go with more of the classic swim mullet uh, if not uh, the shrimp the whole, the regular shrimp because it doesn't ha offer that tail that that gets pulled off by a lot of more undesirable fish but i just threw up i just threw i just threw up i just threw right on the guy's head and luckily thank god you know he was over over slot he was not over slot but he was slot and able to harvest them dang it this ground is like so soft over here it's like really missing me up it's like the third flounder i thought i had and I just ripped up my lure. So I'm gonna hook it sideways. That's right. Go, I hook them sideways, upside down, it doesn't matter. I try to get as much out of them as I can. And the fish don't mind. The fish will still hit it side, when we'll hook sideways, upside down, the fish don't care. They really don't. They're not looking at things like, hmm, is that swimming at me sideways? <laughs> up and ran uh. oh, oh, oh. Get tight line tight line uh. I stopped it on bottom for a second hoping for a flounder and he just picked it up and hauled butt uh. all right uh. all right now let's see him oh, there he goes he's peeling off again and I'm gonna let him I'm just gonna keep the line tight and let him run when he wants to run just kind of thumbing it coming back at me let's take a look at him oh yeah that's a nice red you know what I might have foul hooked him no I didn't foul hook him that's my tandem I think my other line hooked his butt keep him out of my drive there we go stay out of the drive buddy just working the grass line all the way down pitching at the grass line haven't seen much of anything so I just been pitching the grass line, pitching grass line, seeing a little bit of bait here and there, but just really just pitching and pitching, pitching and pitching, casting and casting. I wasn't recording on my hat cam because I turned it off for a second. I'm trying to save battery because not a lot going on. So this guy is definitely a brute. Definitely a brute. All right. Where are you at? Here we go. Got him turned around. Come on. Come on. He's done. He got tuckered out. Woo! Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right. This guy's a hoss though. Look. He's a big boy he got on that white, the white gulp. Yeah. I thought he was tail hooked just because I saw the other the other jig head in the back. But he is he got it right on the corner of the mouth. Both of these are H2O Express hooks. So H2O Express HD Ethos Reel Tac 40 Rod tight line braid I mean 30 pound tight line braid 30 pound Yozuri flow carbon leader line that's just it's just how it goes man H2 Express net I mean man it's just big family here bruh me and Academy just big family <laughs> not really <laughs> not at all 
Not really, not at all. My peoples though. My people. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. He's still he's still fighting. Look at him. He's still feisty. He won't lay on the board. Lay on the board, bud. Yeah. 25. 25 and a quarter. Yeah, 25 and a half. Just just missing 25 and a half, but we're gonna call him 25 and a half. That is awesome. Beautiful fish again. Look at that color. You know, this time of the year, it's golden. Golden years, baby. Oh my gosh, he's still fighting. Come on. Relax. Yeah, there we go. Big guy. It's red. Just took off pill drag. Uh, uh, trying to go underneath me. Trying not to let him. Uh, he's right here. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Dang it! There he goes. Trying to just get him on that side. Keep him on one side. Not behind me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got him. Oop. Oh, don't go behind me. Stay on the left side. Stay on this side. Oh, don't shake. You know, come off if you shake, bud. Don't do that. Don't shake. Ugh. Ugh, you... Oh, get off that. There he is, right below me. Come on. He's not tired yet. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. I just need to be ready with the net. I didn't know he was going to come at me like that. Give up like that. Here we go. So mad him. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Fishing around those rocks right there for a flounder. And I just started straight retrieving it. And like, let me get another cast. And when I straight retrieved it, he uh he got on it. Uh that's gonna be a limit, man. Yeah. That's going to be a limit. Man, oh man. There we go. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. He's not as golden as the other ones. But he's nice. He's definitely nice. Let's measure him up. Let's see what he's going to be. it be mid. Say about 25, maybe, maybe not that much, but he definitely mids a lot. Well, give me a hard time for today. Right. Heavy though, he's a he's a heavy boy. Uh, I was close, 24 and three quarters. That is a limit, 24 and three quarters. We're gonna keep this guy. I never keep a limit. You know what? We're gonna keep a limit, and we're gonna donate this fish to somebody who likes fish all right everybody so i got my quick limit actually it wasn't a quick limit it was probably about five hour and 40 minute limit so it did it took a while to to get some bait and not a lot going on not very fishy i knew the bite wasn't going to be there today we didn't we do not have a high high bite forecast day um we kind of had a high pressure system that's kind of been hanging around the area so I wanted to see if I can catch some flounder in the area. I wanted to see if flounder are going to be moving around, which I know they are. I, I know they're gearing up to start the move, so they're 
they're going to be eating a lot and 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 um and getting ready to make their big push uh but today wasn't flounder today was red you know i'm not gonna argue i, I enjoy catching reds and i'm gonna go home i'm take these guys home i'm gonna harvest them i'm gonna donate a couple harvest the other one and do a red on a half shell so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and do so like comment share i'm gonna fish on the way back so i might cut in a few more catches so we'll see hopefully hopefully i get a few more but i'm i'm beat i'm tired i'm old <laughs> i am definitely out of kayak shape boys and girls